My name's Hiro Nakamura, 25 years old. I work in an interior design company, but... This deal went smoothly thanks to me! Yeah, right. I'm the one who put together all the crucial documents for the deal. Chato Yabasugi is my colleague, but it's always him doing the flashy stuff. Man, I'm busting my butt too. Hiro, what's up with the sighing? She's Ai Tanaka, our company's CEO, known for being cool and strict. She's young at 27, but of course, she's great at her job. Sighing lowers the morale of the team. Be mindful. And Chato, I need to talk to you. What? Just get to the meeting room. So one day... What? Dad collapsed? Why'd he push himself so hard? Actually, the business is in trouble. <sighs> Glass shops don't make much money these days. I had no idea it was that bad. He's stubborn. Even back then, he really wanted to work with you. Uh, Dad, is he gonna be okay? I took this job because I didn't want to take over the family business, but it's gotten this bad. We argued back then, but maybe I should have listened to Dad. No, it's not too late, right? All right, I've decided. The next day... Boss, thanks for taking the time. I've got something to talk about. What is it? The thing is, our family's glass business is in deep trouble. My dad collapsed and it's a real mess. So, I'm really sorry. I need to quit and take over the business. You're serious about this? Yes, I've thought it through and made up my mind. I see. And so, I quit my current job and started working at the family business. Since I'm not a craftsman like Dad, I took on the role of sales. This is a big help. Part of why your dad collapsed was from doing sales he wasn't used to. Dad's a craftsman at heart. Bowing to customers isn't his thing. Who are you calling stubborn? Seriously, if you were going to come back, you should have just joined from the start. Give it a rest. The things turned out just like you wanted. Humph. <laughs> Do whatever you want. I'm not giving you special treatment. Dad's still the same. From then on, I worked my butt off to revive the family business. Working like crazy every day. About three months passed. Oh, that's a beautiful interior. I wonder how Boss is doing. I know I had my reasons, but I feel bad for quitting so suddenly. <laughs> Meanwhile... <sighs> it took a while, but we finally made it here. Acquisition complete! Now we can work together again, Hiro. You can't just disappear on me like that. A few days later... Hiro, get over here now! What? What? And where I got dragged to was... B boss Long time no see. How you been? What are you doing here? I never imagined I'd be working with my son's old company. I'm surprised. Life's full of surprises, isn't it? Turns out, our family business got bought out by my old company. Now, we're going to be selling products using our glassware. I'm shocked. I never thought we'd meet again like this. What? You sound upset. No, not at all. Thanks to this, our financial crisis is solved in a flash. I convinced the company with a new business idea. So I'm here. Nothing more. Yeah, but is there really no other reason? Anyway, from now on, we'll be business partners. So we'll need to cooperate closely. Yes, of course. To make better products, we'll need inspections. I'll be asking you to come along more often, so please join me. And, since we're partners now, no more being all formal. Just call me I. Uh, that's a bit... Fine. Well, 
Just call me Tanaka then. Oh, and also... There's more? <gasps> we managed to form this partnership because you didn't let your shop go under. You did well, handling it all by yourself. D thank you. Maybe she's been worried about me all this time. I thought she was scary, but maybe she's actually nice. And so I started working with Tanaka again. Right away, I showed Tanaka my design ideas and we exchanged opinions. All right, let's take a break. I'm really impressed. You've grown so much. Well, before, I was a terrible employee. Is that what you thought? Actually, I've always had some regrets about you. What do you mean? No. Let's talk about it some other time. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, by the way, the other day, I found this design in the city. What is it? Whoa, isn't she a bit too close? <sighs> <sighs> I mean, she's really getting up in my space here. Um... Hmm? Something wrong? Nope. Did she just sniff me? Nah, it couldn't be. A few hours later. Thanks for today. It was a productive exchange. Let's do it again. Sure thing. I wish I could have utilized your skills better when you were with us. Come on, no need to flatter me. Flattery? No, it's just the truth. I thought I hadn't contributed much and that Tanaka had given up on me. But maybe she's had faith in me all along? A little while later, we had to check out some stores in the city. Tanaka suggested we see the real deal up close and personal. I get it. With displays like these, who wouldn't want to buy? The store staff must have some serious skills. I gotta ask for tips to up our sales game. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Sure! About this display... Hmm? Thank you so much! Hey, Hiro! I yeah Come here for a sec. You were checking out that other girl while on the job, weren't you? N no way! I was just asking about the display tips. Fine! But if you slack off, I'll make you my chair and use you every day. S sorry, I'll be more careful. What does she mean, make me her chair? She's acting way different and kind of scary. I need a distraction. Oh, wow! This sofa's color is awesome! Mm, well, it is nice. I'd love to have one at home. Right? The texture's great, too. No. I meant I want you at my place. What? I'm not furniture! Just kidding! That sounded kind of serious. Tanaka's jokes are hard to read sometimes. The inspection trips with Tanaka went on for about a month, fitting us around our other work. Look at this store's interior. Lots of beautiful glass products. Not just the tables, but these faces too. This place is all the rage now. Great food and the decorations getting high marks. Glass decoration is definitely trending. Thanks to you, we've got some great ideas coming up. Working alone is fine, but teaming up like this feels rewarding, right? Yeah, I definitely see that now. By the way, are you going solo in your personal life too? Why do I feel like there's pressure here? Yeah, I'm on my own. Saves me from getting my hands dirty. What would she do if I had a girlfriend? So, what kind of girl do you like? Don't get the wrong idea. I just want to know more about you. Uh, well, I'm kind of shy, so maybe someone more outgoing? I see. 
Ow, ow! Why are you crushing my hand? Crushing your hand? Um, you said you like someone proactive, so I held your hand firmly. Wait, does that mean... What do you think? Could she... No, there's no way she likes me. Time's up. Let's get going. To be honest, I bought out your company just to work with you again. No way! You're joking, right? I'm serious. Tanaka? Truth is, I wanted to keep you from quitting too. I can't believe she values me this much. It's unreal. Plus, I owe you. Huh? Nothing. Come on. We gotta move or we'll miss the last train. R right One day, when everything was going smoothly at work, it all went down. Hiro? I gotta apologize for something. W what is it? About that table. The launch isn't happening. What? We had the design and manufacture all set, right? Yeah, but we hit a snag in the crucial phase of the deal. Our employee, Chato, screwed up. He had a fight with the other company's president. Chato! Yeah, the other guy's a real serious craftsman type. He didn't like Chato's attitude and got pissed. Just like my dad. Yeah, that easygoing vibe wouldn't fly with serious folks. But why did you send Chato over there? Even after you quit, I kept coaching him. When you were here, he leaned on you too much, remember? I thought he'd step up if he was by himself, but... And that's when he messed up? I'm sorry. It was my bad call. No way! You don't need to apologize! But no matter what I said, my words didn't reach Tanaka. Maybe it's my fault Chato started slacking off. As his colleague, I should have been stricter with him. Maybe I still have things to do at her company. What's wrong? You look like you're depressed. You know what's going on, Dad. Aren't you worried? Surprisingly, I'm not. Why? It was a chance to make your glass famous. Because I got to work with you. Hero, I'm sorry for dumping everything on you. Huh? I kept treating you like a kid, but you've grown. Maybe it was good you worked somewhere else first. I was wrong. Dad, it's all right. I had fun working here too, but actually... I confessed I wanted to finish what I started at Tanaka's company. I see. Don't worry about me. Do what you gotta do. Are you sure? I'm fine. Thanks to you. Now, go help that president. Got it, Dad. Thanks! So, I asked my boss, Tanaka, and got back to my old company. Yo, hero! Quit once and now you're back? Chato, don't be like that. Do you know why all this happened? Boss, it's fine. I need a word with Chato alone. Can we use the meeting room? Uh, sure, of course. Hey, now you're my junior. Work for me, got it? Listen, Chato. Boss believed in you, you know? So what? I'm not giving up on this deal, so can you help out a bit more? Don't you want to fix this mess? Look at you, hero. All confident and stuff. I've changed. Coming back the same old me would be pointless. Hmph. <laughs> the other guy was already pissed at us. But I took Chato and negotiated like our lives depended on it. Chato had always been the face of our deals. He was worried about screwing up so bad that our project was on the line. Slowly but surely, he started working with me. And finally... You guys did it! The president agreed we can launch the product! Really? That's awesome! Uh, boss, hero, I gotta talk to you. Huh? Chato? 
I'm quitting. What? Chato, why? Hero, watching you made me realize how immature I am as a professional. I'm sorry for using you all this time. Boss, you kept believing in me and guiding me. I'm really sorry. I need to make things right. Hold on, Chato. There's another way to make it right. Huh? Quitting isn't the only answer. You can start over right here. Yeah, make up for everything right here. But I messed up so much. Don't screw up next time. Work hard and make it count. Thank you. Really. A few hours later. So, what did you want to talk about? Actually, before I started this company, we met when you were working part-time at that izakaya. What? I didn't even notice. Makes sense. I was a lot more low-key back then. Even though I wanted to start a business, I hesitated because I wanted stability. Uh, I remember now. I saw you looking exhausted a lot. And that was you, boss. You casually talked to me and bought me a beer. That was all I could do. That meant a lot to me. Your support gave me the courage to start my business. You should have told me sooner. <laughs> if I'd said, I'm the girl you helped right after we met again, you might have thought I was weird if you didn't remember. I might have been surprised, but I wouldn't think you're weird. I just really didn't want you to not like me. It wasn't easy figuring out which university you went to or getting people to recommend my company to you. Wait, what did you just say? Uh, never mind. Just like you supported me back then, I want to support you now. Does that mean... Yeah. I'm asking you out. Was it too roundabout? <gasps> At first... I thought you were just a tough and capable boss. But working closely with you, I realized you're just a regular woman. The more time I spent with you, the more I saw your charm. So please, go out with me. Of course. We kept our relationship secret for now, but it boosted my motivation and I worked harder than ever. Six months into our relationship, this kind of teamwork is nice too, huh? Different from work. But it's kind of embarrassing. Isn't this for students? Sometimes it's good to be silly, right? But I'd like to experience cake-cutting teamwork someday too. W wait you mean marriage? Shouldn't we focus on the company since it's doing so well? What? You don't want to get married? If not, I'll shut the company down. What? Why? Because it seems like you care more about the company than me. Okay, okay. Let's get married so you won't say anything weird. I was waiting for those words. And so I found happiness by marrying I. Hi, it's me, Mel. Thanks for watching my channel. I'm super happy if you watch the next other videos too!